Rommel Perdomo, like his siblings, is synonymous with the Traveler's Liquors brand. The family business was established by Don Omario, the respected senior, in 1953. Since then, his children, including Rommel, have cemented the legacy of the Perdomo family in various facets of Belizean society, beyond what meets the eye. I know he was seriously involved in the YWCA. Um, he sponsored a program called Mentoring Youth in the Community. To help young women become more independent, to teach them a trade, um, and he was very involved in that. Also, he was a big sponsor of women's softball, mm -hmm. so he was he was a sponsor of of, um, of organized things, but also he helped a lot of female single mothers that needed um, help with education, etc. That selflessness was also evident in sports, particularly soccer. Rommel sponsored several teams and cheered them on to victory whenever they took the field. His brother, Maito, recalls his passion for football. I think it's around in 1978, 79, we took over the, the football team called Borja Furufu, which is a famous team in the 60s and 70s. We took over that and, and the company at that time was were, were agents for um, Hague Dimple. So we sponsored the Hague Dimple football team. And from there we we changed names until the, the team became Dorleys. And we were, I think we sponsored Dorleys for close to like four, well, 14 years. We became champions, um, Belize City champions, national champions. We represented Belize in, in several games abroad. When we started getting into into FIFA and CONCACAF, right? But all, all of this was being sponsored by the company. There was also political activism, another area where Romel Perdomo was quite enthusiastic and heavily invested. His love of activities associated with government also saw him funding the United Democratic Party. Perla Perdomo recalls his involvement with the UDP, as well as the Association for Concerned Belizeans. He was um, the founder of the uh, Association for Concerned Belizeans, quite active in that. When there was allegations of corruption in government, he always um, spoke out about that. And he was also a, a founder of the United Democratic Party when they lost. One of the only ones that um, funded that party when they were, they were going through some rough times. But even though he was a, uh, a supporter, he would also be a critic, the first critic of their love. Sometimes um, family members would say, we have to tell him to tone it down. But he was also always very, very vocal about how he felt when he saw injustice. From a business perspective, Rommel was integral in the modernization of Travelers Liquors Limited. His younger sibling, Magali Perdomo Gab, speaks to his shrewdness where the brand and its markets were concerned. He was a, a big part of Travelers improving all the improvements that were made. And as when my dad got ill, he kind of took over the management of Travelers and um, built it up to what it is today, along with my, my other siblings that still live here. I was in Florida, so when I would come, I would see the big improvements that he would make, the bottling machine, the compound, the museum. She helped it, but he was here helping with the financing. And, all of that. So he, he is a big part of um, where Travis is today. Like his father, who passed away from renal failure in 1998, Romel also struggled with kidney disease. That was when my dad mm -hmm. was also diagnosed and was um, about to get a kidney transplant, which my brother Maito donated to my dad. We all got tested, all, the, all his, my dad's kids got tested to see who would be a uh, good candidate to donate a kidney. Um, at the time, Roman could not donate because he was um, was at the beginning stages of renal kidney um, of renal failure. So he knew from back then. So when it came that his kidneys were functioning, his daughter, Magali Perdomo, the lawyer, donated to him in 2005. Several years later, he would begin dialysis treatment. Being away from Belize was arguably the greatest challenge. To me, the biggest challenge for him, and I think where he suffered the most, um, was not 
I mean, doing dialysis was 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 painful for him. It was, you know, time. Roman was a was a very active person, even though he was older than me. When I was here at Travelers, and even after he came out from the transplant, he was more active than me, um, uh, going to his farm on a daily basis, all of that. But so when when he had to do dialysis and he had to remain in the United States, I think that was the biggest challenge for us. Rommel Perdomo passed away at age 69, several months after his 70th birthday. Ironically, his dad, Don Omario, also passed away at the same age. Reporting for News 5, I am Isana Cayetano.